It's really exhausting. You look tired. You look so tired. I actually am tired though, you guys. <laughs> I haven't slept uh, since my baby was born. Hey, what's up, Hello. guys? Hello. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah. How are you, you doing? You have our stuff. Good, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> So one of my tips for moving in is you write out on a post-it where you want them to put your items. Couch, nice and big here. Boom, they know that the couch goes here. So next we're gonna put, they need to put a dresser here. Boom, boom. I feel like that's super organized. That's right? Like, yeah, kind of take the thought out of the whole Yeah, thing, you know? exactly. So just, like, just putting items different places, that way they know where everything is going. I, if I was a mover, I'd like that. Right, makes it easy. That's just gonna go right under the television. That's gonna go in the hallway. So now that they have the couch, boom. Post it down. Oh my gosh, you guys were the best. I got Huge it. help. Yeah, Bye guys. guys. No. Beginning of the end. How about you tackle the kitchen, I'll tackle the closet. That's good. Have a little bite of my protein bar. Oh, <laughs> break. All right, here we go. We're sliding this in here. I like everything to be super organized, so I don't just want to take it out and throw it. I want to take it out and like neatly place it in all these different places. It's really easy for a girl's closet to get like cluttered. So what I decided to do was invest in all the same type of hangers. You can get these at Home Goods or all these really great discount home stores. So I'm just gonna start putting my closet away and hanging them with the new hangers. Sometimes people aren't sure what to do with their closet. I think color coordinating is a really good option because it's just, it narrows it down. So if you're having a hard time finding something or you have a lot of items in your closet, you can find it a little bit easier if you color coordinate. I would say every two to three months I go through my closet to purge and I'll look at something and I'll be like, mm, we'll touch base with this in two months and see if I still want it. Two months later I'll look at it and I'll go, you know what, I really don't think I'm gonna wear that and I'll donate it. Whoops. You can see it's like already starting to come together and just look a little bit more organized. And I don't know if you could tell, but with all the same hangers, it just looks so much better in my opinion. I should probably wash this, this silverware. That's a very good tip. Always wash it. Like if you're in the, the middle of a move, I would wash everything. These get dusty and the movers are touching everything. So it's just good to, everything's nice and clean. Chickpeas. Let me see if I can even do this. I can't believe I'm using a label maker, honey. It works. <laughs> I'll pass it to you. Let's do yeah. it. It's nice when everything's organized. You feel inspired to cook. You know, when you get in the kitchen, when everything's dirty and unorganized and crazy, I don't know, you just don't feel inspired to get in there and cook. Do you guys like label makers or do you think that they're... Old? Like, no, not old, <laughs> but overkill maybe. Labeling the pantry. Check out glam.com for more of our moving adventure. Where are the white beans? Where are the black beans? <laughs> They're under here and over there. <laughs> That's not how it goes. You're ruining my musical. <laughs>